So the frustration continues for Troy Westwood. Two for four, made from 30 and 21, but has missed two 40 plus. And Marcus Brady fumbles the football. And who's got it? Looks like Paul Lambert got it back, or did Marcus Brady cut his own ball back? Somehow the Bombers missed picking up the loose football. Penalty marker on the play. Bombers missed the loose football, and the Montreal Oets missed a couple of blocks. Holding Montreal 61. The penalty is declined. Second out. And that's Luke Fritz, who's in for the injured Skip Seagraves in the second half. Top of your screen, and, and he's going to go one on one. I believe it's on Stevie Bags who comes around the corner. He's the guy who causes the fumble. And somehow three bombers run by it, including Jerome Haywood. So Luke Fritz gives up the sack, but he's, he could consider himself lucky. Second down and long. And Brady looking long for Delorier. And Eric Delorier comes down with it. What a catch by the rookie, 6'4", 206, and Delorier uses the size to make a huge catch. Well, he uses his size, but he also uses great timing. I mean, this is a, this is a Delorier down the sideline who waits for the perfect time to jump so that when he does, he is at the, the height of his jump when he comes down, and the simultaneous catch goes to the offense. So even though Greg Moss had his hands right in there all over the football the simultaneous catch goes to the offense and Deloria comes up with a big one 44 yard grab that's his longest to the CFL and this is rookie year and at midfield Brady throws this one over the head of Ashland Davis probably threw that away with Gavin Walls turning up the heat but you see what Gavin Walls had to do this is what Marcus Brady does to a rush in it, it kind of freezes him. Here he is here, and watch when he gets up the field and is wide open, and it's just him and Marcus Brady. Now, Brady doesn't have a target, so he has to throw it away, but look, Walls can't go. He doesn't want to go after Marcus Brady. He wants to just wait, 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 make him throw it from the pocket. He didn't have a receiver, so he had to throw it away, but that's taking away Gavin Walls' ability to just go after quarterback. Marcus Wynn comes in. Jerome Haywood checks out second and 10. Alouettes. And Brady gets it away quickly, and Kelly Malvo, now he stole it. Elijah Thurman took it away from Malvo, who was bobbling a potential interception. Kelly Malvo just kept the ball alive to give Thurman another chance. He had one earlier in the game is it in his hands that he dropped. Pressure coming right down the middle. I believe it was Marcus Wynn on the pressure but look how Malvo keeps it alive and then wow. it's Thurman who fights his way back into the play and then comes up with a catch and this drive stays alive for Montreal that's twice now that yeah. Kelly Malvo had interceptions go through his hands bounce right off his numbers it's a 25 yard pickup Kerry Carter bulldozing and still going down to the 16 yard line and Carter's got a first down Amazing turn of events for Marcus Brady, who starts this drive by fumbling the football on a hit from the backside by Stevie Baggs. It looks like disaster for Montreal, but the Alouettes hang on. They find a way to save Luke Fritz by recovering, and Marcus Brady covers his own fumble. Delorier makes a big catch. Fritz is bailed out by a couple of big catches by the receivers, and they're on the doorstep. And you mentioned off the top of the show, the Bombers have had trouble getting turnovers, interceptions. It's costing them on this drive. Brady into the end zone, and Ben Cahoon unable to pull it down with Anthony Malbro in tight coverage.